There are many lifestyle factors which are overlooked on a daily basis that are incredibly important to be mindful of. We did a video on indoor air quality a few months back, which is definitely high on that unknown list. And today we're going to discuss chewing your food. And when the average American sucks down a cheeseburger and fries at McDonald's like a ravenous animal, there are more issues being caused than by just the food itself. Huge chunks of undigested food combined with our modern high radiation environments blasting Wi-Fi through our digestive organs is basically guaranteed candida, SIBO, dysbiosis. There are so many reasons that just by chewing your food, you can alleviate potential digestive issues. Of course, you have that simple mechanism of chewing, breaking down that food into a paste-like consistency, concentrating the volume of food, giving it more surface area for all of our digestive capabilities to act on it. And something I just thought of was, you know, babies drinking milk. And milk as a liquid is the quickest, most absorbable way to get nutrition. So by turning your food into a liquid, you're replicating you know, that same natural growth factor. Those main digestive capabilities are enzymes, and we did a video explaining them in depth some months back, but those same enzymes that break down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates that are produced in the liver and pancreas are also present in the saliva. Salivary enzymes are able to start acting and breaking down food, and when it's in that paste-like consistency, you, know, you have the food mixed very well with the enzymes, you know, evenly breaking down all of those food particles as opposed to just digesting it from the outside. If you don't utilize those salivary enzymes, you're putting more stress on the rest of those digestive organs to pick up the slack. It means your stomach, intestines, entire rest of your digestive system has to work that much harder. So I'm sure most of you have seen me taking handfuls of enzymes in my day of eating videos. And when those organs are damaged from past diets, in my case, the liver damage, you need to replace what your body is unable to do. But that physical breakdown of chewing is so, so important. You imagine if you have a burrito with rice, beans, steak, vegetables, all this stuff separately that you can see in that burrito. Imagine you just throw a handful of enzyme powders on that. You know, the corresponding enzymes are not necessarily acting efficiently. You know, the amylases or lipases in contact with protein aren't going to be doing anything. But if it's a slurry of those components, regardless of what enzyme you put on it, they are near something they can break down. The same thing applies to the bacteria in our stomach. You know, certain bacteria and fungi eat certain types of foods. So if we're able to be consistent with our food intake, the type of food and the volume of food, that will lead to a healthy microbiome. You know, for instance, you know, huge chunks of undigested starch and sugar, you know, mainly just overconsumption, can lead to candida overgrowth, whereas protein undigested causes histamine issues. It's why it's such a large problem on the carnivore diet. Almost every single person develops some type of histamine issue, and they're like, Frank, do you sell fresh meat? I can't eat meat unless it was slaughtered the day after. I'm like, no, no, that has to do with copper, that has to do with your gut microbiome, you have some severe issues. Speaking of candida, the general term for gut issues, gut microbiome imbalance is dysbiosis. Basically, you know, something is not right as it should be. And the main thing that tends to cause that is overeating combined with other lifestyle stressors in some, you know, once in a lifetime scenario that just ruins things and you just can't get back to where you were. If the food isn't broken down properly, you aren't going to receive adequate hunger signaling. So by the time you wolf down two pounds of rice, you know, you should have probably stopped halfway through that meal and waited, you know, by chewing, eating slowly, really taking your time, you'll find that you end up consuming less food overall. And this gets exponentially worse with, you know, the empty calorie, low nutrient foods people tend to eat now especially on a standard American diet. Not only are they overeating because they're stuffing their stomachs before their brain knows what's going on, even if they do take the time to chew, you know, sometimes there are distortions from just the chemical additives and lack of nutrition. And this is measured pretty easily by bowel movement volume. You, know, you wanna have consistent 
moderate sized bowel movements once or twice per day. You know, if you're eating a lot of food and it isn't being digested, a lot more is going to come out. Now, in a book I read a couple of years ago, they spoke about the eating habits of some Eskimos and other indigenous people where they would just, you know, swallow meat whole, you know, literally cut a piece of seal off and just bite it a few times for the flavor and then swallow it. That's a really, really specific circumstance where you have an indigenous person in a natural environment that has a super healthy and unique microbiome and by eating the meat that way, you know, it's actually fermenting in their digestive tract for fairly long periods of time and broken down by the bacteria they have for that. You know, in our modern world, where we're getting fried by radiation all day, where the food quality isn't there, you, know, you can't really get away with that. You know, I mean, dogs just swallowing, wolfing down their food um, is so different than a wolf in nature that has a much healthier metabolic base to work with. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you know, I was having a meal yesterday and I was like, Frank, slow down, chew your food. You know, I was like, you know, I need to talk about this. It's something I forget a lot myself, you know, especially when you're working long days and you're super hungry. It really helps to take time to think so you don't, you know, regret how you feel an hour or two from the meal. Uh, so please drop a like on the video, guys. I'll leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you could please go to frank-stefano.com, check out my businesses, support me if you'd like to. I'll see you guys for tomorrow.